Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a continuation from my previous episode where I was giving tips to help new teachers prepare for the school year. This is an example of the scope and sequence. I have been teaching U.S. history, so I brought up the scope and sequence for Washington, D.C., 11th grade U.S. history. So you can see that here up at the top and... Basically down the side it tells you the units and right here is where it gives you an approximation of how many days it will take to cover depending on if you have block days or traditional days. Then we have the standards and of course we have common core literacy standards but this is very very helpful uh, when you're planning your lessons um, just to kind of take into consideration approximately how long it will take. Um, and to contrast that with Washington DC, just so you can compare, see the difference, I also found this scope and sequence for 11th grade American history, Saddlebrook Prep High School. And they have the units down the side. And it also tells you approximately how many weeks Sorry, the units are up here at the top. For quarter one, weeks one through three, you'll be covering um, that unit. And then quarter one, weeks four through eight will be this unit, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a different looking format. But what I thought was interesting, and this is why I recommend just kind of searching the internet and looking at different schools and what their scoop and sequence looks like because you also have some texts and like here for example there's literary texts with Uncle Tom but who doesn't know about Uncle Tom so that's probably common but here I thought that this was really great all of the videos um, and resources because students love multimedia so that's always really great to see um, so I would just recommend if your school doesn't provide a scope and sequence to at least look at the school district, or maybe look at other schools within your district, then go to the state website as well. But it's always really helpful just to search different schools and compare because there's a lot of really great resources. And uh, a lot of teachers are doing really great things out there. So hope this helps and good luck to you.